Hey guys, Melissa here from Melissa Fit. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am breaking down all of your myths, concerns, worries, anything bad you've heard about yoga. I am here to tell you what is myth, what is real, and what you should know if you wanna practice yoga. If you're not sure who I am, my name is Melissa. I have a blog, Melissa Fit, and I am a health and wellness expert. I'm also a certified yoga teacher, and I have been practicing yoga for over four years. It totally changed my life, and whenever I hear a myth about yoga, I don't let it bother me, but I feel like I need to come on here and just share how amazing yoga can be and why you shouldn't be so afraid of it. So if you wanna know what myths I'm breaking down about yoga, keep watching. Myth number one that I wanna break down is that you have to be flexible to do yoga. I mean, I get why people think that this is true, but it couldn't be further from the truth. So when I started practicing yoga, I had zero flexibility, could barely touch my toes, I could barely grab my foot behind my leg, and I had no idea what I was doing. The whole point of yoga is that it's a journey and that you have to build to get to where you wanna be. And sometimes your body is more strong than it is flexible, but really, yoga is for all levels. Myth number two is that there's only one type of yoga. This one is frustrating for me as a yoga teacher or someone who's passionate about yoga when I try to get my friends or my family involved in yoga and they tell me they've tried yoga and they absolutely hate it. My biggest thing that I wanna tell you and that I share with them is that if you went to a yoga class and you hated it, there's so many different types of yoga that you can try. There's over 12 different types of yoga. So if you went to a class, maybe it was a slower class and you thought it was a little bit boring or you couldn't focus. Or maybe it was too hard and you thought this is too advanced for me. Well, maybe you need a little bit more of a beginner class. So definitely do your research on all the different types of yoga. The most popular that's out there right now is vinyasa flow, but there's so many different types. There's restorative, there's ashtanga, which is a little bit more challenging and doesn't have someone leading you, you kind of teach yourself. So whatever you like to do, there is a type of yoga for you, which is really cool and really exciting when you think about it. Myth number three is that yoga is all complicated poses and that if you go to class, everyone is gonna be judging you if you can't hold these crazy poses. This one is so important to break down the barrier on because yoga is actually all about your body. It's not about everyone else. So when you go to class, no one is watching what you're doing. Everyone is focused on their own journey, on their own mat. It's a non-judgmental space. And if you're feeling that type of judgment from people, that's definitely them projecting themselves onto you. So. Don't look, focus on how your form is compared to other people's form because everyone's body is so different. And sometimes on social media, you see people in these really crazy and complicated poses and you think, well, I can't do that. And if I go to a yoga studio, I'm not gonna be able to do that. The reality of it is, is a lot of the time yoga photography is so different than when people are practicing in class. And I try to tell people that all the time. So bottom line, if you're afraid people are gonna be watching you and judging you, that's not what yoga is all about. The last myth I wanna break down, myth number four, is that yoga is not for everybody. And it's only for people who have that stereotypical yoga body frame. Yoga is for everybody. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your weight, it doesn't matter your size. All that matters is that you wanna show up and you want to begin a yoga practice. There are a million modifications for every yoga pose. If you, you know, have a bad knee, or you have a bad shoulder, you need to talk with your teacher and you need to know what those modifications are specific for you. That way you can practice and get so many benefits out of it. The first step, show up to a beginner class and if you don't have a studio nearby, there's so many online studios available to you. So really, the moral of this myth is that yoga is for everyone, which is actually really exciting. I'd love to know if you have any yoga myths that you've heard below and maybe we can do a yoga myth busters part two. But most importantly, I wanna thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video so that we can get lots of love and spread all that yoga goodness with everybody in the world because this video is truly for everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to the Melissa Fit YouTube channel yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It would mean so much. I would never want for you to miss one of my videos. I hope you have an amazing day. And like I always say, keep spreading love and positivity whenever you can. Bye.